Uh, I really enjoyed the conference. It was really good. The location is awesome. There are many people. I think there are more people than last year. And uh, many great guys. And girls, of course. And girls, <laughs> of course. I had a talk why design is important in open source communities yesterday, 6 p.m. Uh, there were many people, questions, of course, that's always a good thing in talks. And uh, I explained why design is really good to be, it's okay to be, why design is really important in open source communities because usually design is left behind, the developing doesn't go at the same rhythm as design goes. So I also contribute on uh, design at uh, LibreOffice. So yeah, that was important. I think developers must learn to communicate more with uh, designers beforehand. So if you try to create a new feature, you must first talk with the designers so they can like create a mock-up or something. So it gives you a, your idea to the designer, the designer can do something, give it back. Like communication is the key to success, I think, in all communities, also open source communities. So. Uh, I became part of Open Labs, our local hacker space, in early January 2016. Uh, LibreOffice was one of the projects that was being, uh, the community was still at its uh, beginnings. We also have many other projects we work on, like Mozilla, Linux, uh, LibreOffice, uh, Wikipedia, all stuff, of open source projects. So at first we usually like to work on translations because we think that translation is the first basic step for the users to use the program. So uh, we started by making some events on translation, translation sprints. We could uh, like uh, invite people there. There are many people that joined us and started translating. We gave gifts to people that translated the most, like it's not a competition, but you know, so people would have like that ego, like I want to translate more and yeah, we started with that, then community slowly began to increase in numbers, then it came the moment of LibreOffice conference the last year in Czech Republic, we were three people there and we already, two of us were TDF members after the conference, uh, later on we continued with LibreOffice Month on December. Again, uh, we had Italo over for Oscar. We discussed a little bit more. Then, right now, we are working on the migration process with the municipality of Tirana. We are in good tracks, I think. And probably for next year, we'll be set, I hope. It'll be great. Uh, we are not really sure why it happens, but we are very happy it happens. Like uh, in Open Labs, more than 70% are women. And that's great. We hope to obtain and get even more women involved. But 70%. it's uh, yeah, 70%. Like all of our pictures you can see from our events, there are like mm, seven, nine girls and two boys or something like that, even more. Uh, so maybe it has something to do with the culture, with culture. So uh, there are also many girls on uh, IT degrees, universities. So I study computer engineering and there are more girls than boys. We are taught that uh, the IT field is something that you get paid well, it's something that could provide for the future. So girls are free to choose, so they choose IT. Yeah, also having a local physical hacker space helps a lot because you can make meetings, you can socialize with people over pizza and coffee, and yeah, that's great. P meeting people face to face is the best thing to raise a community. Uh, we know from experience from Moscow, our uh, open source conference in Albania we organize a double apps that Organizing a conference is really hard. It has its own problems, but also it's a great pleasure. 
getting that uh, feeling of enjoyment when it's done and uh, we think we'll do pretty fine. The food, the people, the open source community. <laughs> yeah.